This weekend marks 10 years since Philip Fulmer coached his last game against Vanderbilt. It was a 20 to 10 win for the Vols. Fulmer only lost 52 games in 17 seasons on Rocky Top. Since he left, four head coaches and two interims have combined to lose 57 games in 10 years. Jeremy Pruitt's final season finished five and seven, just like Fulmer's last in 2008. You can call it what you want to. Uh, we ain't finished very well in November in a long time, okay? So uh, this is the first year I've been here. I, I thought we played the first two weeks. We've done a good job and competed pretty hard until we had some turnovers against Missouri, who was a good football team. You can look at Pruitt's first year two ways. One, he won five games with players that he was given, or two, that he lost seven times to end with a losing record and no bowl game bid. Lord knows we got a long ways to go and um, got to improve, and I think our kids improved um, as the season went. Probably the first year to the second year when you get a new staff together is probably the biggest improvement that you see. Um, so we'll have, we'll have plenty of time to obviously do that. So we'll start working on it tomorrow. The Vols are now putting all of their focus on recruiting as Pruitt is eager to find depth across the board. We've got to take the guys that are in their football program. Um, you know, I thought in the, I thought over the season we learned how to practice. I mean, we improved tremendously how we practice. But you should have seen us in the spring. I mean, from, from where we, we were at, uh, there was nowhere to go but up. We still don't have competition. I mean, we, don't, we don't have competition at certain positions. So um, you're either going to play somebody or we're going to play nobody, basically. Uh, we've got to recruit to where we can recruit some depth to where we get competition. And when we do that, we'll get better in a hurry. I think if a young man wants an opportunity to have a chance to play in the SEC really early, this would be a good place to start. With no bowl game in sight, the early signing period is next up on the calendar. That opens up in 25 days on December 19th. In Nashville with the Vols, Marsha Hughes, WATE6 on your side.